Hi guys. From the thumbnail, I'm sure you know why we are, what we're here to talk about today. Um, today we're going to visit Tafi Atome Monkey Sanctuary located in the Volta region of Ghana. And I want to take you through the entire journey. I started this journey from my hometown, Ho. It takes approximately one hour to drive from Ho to Tafi Atome. But I want you to look at this drive. It's quite remarkable, isn't it? I literally am climbing a mountain and this mountain is what people call the Avatime Highlands. There's no traffic in this part of Ghana, just beautiful sceneries and very good natural food. I think I'll post a video of the drive because I think it's quite spectacular. All right, so enough about the drive. I think I'll just post the video later. Before you make your way to Tafi Atome, I'll recommend you buy some bananas. You'll see a lot of bananas on the road, but just in case you forget, you can always get bananas in the village. Your tour guide would be able to procure some for you. Um, the bananas will be used to feed the monkeys um, during your trip. <laughs> I have 20. 20. Oh, oh, this is time. I'm going to go to the bank. I'm going to go to the bank. I'm going to go to the bank. I'm going to go to the I actually have a five as well. Thank you. I'll give you the five back. Yeah, no more damage of any kind. I'm not over. Welcome to Tafia Tome. The green roof you see is part of the tourism office where you can make all your inquiries. The species of monkeys found in Tafi Atome are the Mona monkeys. Mona monkeys are typically found in parts of West Africa, like Ghana, Nigeria, Cameroon, just to mention a few. And even within Ghana, they are located in the Volta region, as well as the Brongahafo regions. Those are the two places that I know they are typically found. <laughs> I'm, I'm not ready now. <laughs> no, that was not cool. <laughs> ah! She's not friendly. I don't like it. <laughs> Patrick has, uh, Philip has one. No. <laughs> According to our tour guide, you can identify Mona monkeys because they have two white dots at their base. The interesting thing about these monkeys is that they do not steal, they do not bite, they do not scratch. Unlike some monkeys that are able to steal maybe your phone or your sunglasses, these monkeys do not do that. So I'll give you a bit of history about this general area. The forest in which the monkeys are located is about 360 acres and forms a U-shape. The people of Tafia Atome are situated in the middle of the forest. There are over a thousand monkeys in the forest and these monkeys have different troops. The leader is the biggest among them all. He protects them, leads them to find food and water and leads in a fight when necessary. The forest is inhabited by other animals as well, such as antelopes, snakes, and rats, just to mention a few. The monkeys in this part are not very fond of dogs. I don't know if that is it for all monkeys all over the world, but these are not very fond of dogs. As a result, nobody in the community is allowed to have dogs. So there are no dogs in Tafi Atome. There are two seasons in Ghana, the wet and dry season. There's a stream that circulates through the forest, and that is where the, uh, the animals get access to water. During the dry season, they usually come to the homes of individuals, and then they are given water to drink. 
According to our tour guide, the villagers are, however, mindful not to give them water in a silver pan because once the monkeys see their own reflection, they won't be able to drink the water. Now, this got me thinking because I imagine when you're drinking from a lake, you might still run the risk of seeing your own reflection. So I really wasn't too sure what he meant by this, but that is what the tour guide said. And I think in the moment, I didn't question the logic. According to research, Muna monkeys have a lifespan of 30 years and can weigh between four to five kilograms. That is the equivalence of eight to 11 pounds. The monkeys have a gestation period of six months. So that's about three months shy of humans. And they breastfeed for approximately three months. They have nests that they leave their babies in, but the mothers tend to carry their babies in the bosom like kangaroos do. But monkeys, these Mona monkeys do not have a sack, so the babies usually just hold on to the moms. And I've actually seen this in action before. From my experience, the nursing mothers do not um, jump on humans to feed, as you would see these normal monkeys do. They usually just take the food from you. That's it. They do not jump because they have their babies on them. In the afternoon, the monkeys tend to nap or groom one another. In this community, that is Tafia Tome, they do not see dead monkeys. The community believes that these monkeys bury themselves as humans do, and that is why they do not come across dead monkeys. The monkeys are also not a fan of very strong scent. Assuming you have a kitchen knife that you use to cut onions, and you use the same kitchen knife to maybe cut a fruit and give it to them, they will not eat it. Um, they do not like strong perfumes either. So as an individual, maybe when you're visiting the sanctuary, as much as possible, refrain from using very strong scents. Now, let me give you a bit of a history about this place, Tafia Tome. Their forefathers are believed to have migrated from Asin Fosu in the central region. In those days, the forefathers believed in God. As time progressed, hardships caused the leaders to inquire from the gods about the prospects for their future. The gods asked that they pack their belongings and embark on a journey where they would see Mona monkeys. And when they do, they should settle there. Before they got to present day Tafi Atome, during the journey, they came across a big river. The river was flooded and they could not cross. They sat on the bank of the river for three days. The gods informed them that they would see a huge log and once they see that log, they should walk across it and cross the river. They eventually saw what they believed was a big log and crossed the river using the log. After crossing, the last person turned around only to realize that the log was actually a big python. The python then became the symbol of the Tafi Atome people. Once the forefathers came to Tafi Atome and saw the monkeys, they settled there as directed by the gods. It was decided that nobody would kill the monkeys for meat or clear the land in the forest or cut down the trees in the forest for furniture. These are all taboos in the community. In 1983, however, when hunger attacked the people of Tafia Tome, some people entered the forest and killed the monkeys for meat. Those involved in the act got really sick. They were taken to the shrine for prayers and they were eventually forgiven and they regained their health. In 1986, it was decided that paths would be created to locate these monkeys. In those days, the monkeys were wild and you couldn't feed them as we're doing here today. In those days, you just had to throw the food for them to eat. But as human interaction has continued over the years, they've become very used and very acquainted with human beings. And that is why they're able to jump on human beings and get fed. This, in essence, is a very short history behind the people of Tafi Atome. If you enjoyed this, please like and comment and share. If you ever find yourself in Tafi Atome, aside the forest tour, you can also partake in a village tour as well as cultural drumming and dancing. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and share as it goes a long way to help me with this YouTube algorithm. Thank you. Have a good day.